Alexa, turn on the lights. Now this is my type of room. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hey, there's Minnows and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So we're making our first trip back to the Wynn Hotel and Casino, Las Vegas, since the whole shutdown back in March. Now, if you guys remember, I was playing Wynn slots for a while, and I did manage to get myself a free room. Unfortunately, I couldn't use all my free rooms before the, uh, well, the you-know-what hit, and we all had to evacuate. But now that we're back and we're allowed to stay in Vegas a little while longer, I figured I'd use up my last room and see if another $20 up front would do us any good. Let's check it out. Okay, Spinners and Sharks, here it is. The Win 3157 uh, King Room. It's just the base King Room. And this is actually, uh, yeah, they didn't, they didn't have any upgrades, so we didn't get a chance to do the $20 technique. I checked in real late, but I thought it'd be worth just checking out this one over here. It's free, so can't hurt. Let's go ahead and crack it open. Disinfected for our protection. Looks good. Let's go. Ooh. That is one heavy door right there. Let's get some light. All right. More importantly, we will, of course, have the Wynn bathroom here. And ooh-wee, does this look good. Okay. Got the standard steam shower, standing and separate. Also has a sitting bench. Now this is really good if you have longer hair like I do, or like my wife does too. She's got very long hair, so it's good for her to kind of sit down and relax a little bit, especially if you're someone who's handicapped or has pain issues, that sort of thing, and you just wanna kind of relax a little bit in the shower, wash your hair a bit, or you know, get those harder to reach places like, you, like your feet if you have really long legs too. So that's really great for that. And it is also appropriate shower height too, so none of that hitting you, uh, hitting you in the chest for you fellas over six feet. Of course you have the night light over here and then the regular light options too. And then moving on, we also do have the Japanese style soaking tub with the really deep, deep uh, tub over here. And uh, <laughs> at the request of one of my other subscribers, I have to drop the card to demonstrate the depth. So be prepared. That is how deep it is. That is now a signature Ace of Vegas thing. Be prepared for that. All right, next we have the sink over here. So we also do have the standard toiletries that come with it. You have the sink over there. It's got some, uh, got some kana on it. And then you start moving over and you get the close up mirror here. This is for when you're shaving and uh, getting ready, getting your eyeshadow on, whatever you gotta do to get fresh and get ready for the day. Angel Soft tissues over here for those early morning sniffles, especially if you're an allergy sufferer. And of course the bare necessities, you got your body lotion here, shower gels, cotton swabs, and the makeup remover kit, as well as a nail file here. So that's always really nice. And hey, look at this. We are committed to preserving our vital resources and invite you to join in our efforts. So if you hang your towels, you can use them again. If you want them exchanged, leave them in the bathtub, so on and so forth. We're only gonna be staying here one night again, so that's fine. This is one of our rescheduled nights from Wind Slots. You have the remote in the bathroom. Why is there a remote in the bathroom? Because you have a TV built into the wall here. Isn't that cool? All right, and then of course you have the full room mirror over here. If you need that full room mirror to make sure that you're getting fresh right before you hit the strip, this is the spot. And my favorite part about this room, about the bathroom here, is the built-in water closet. So yes, you have your water closet here, and then you just get to close it up. when you're doing your business. They also do have the emergency roll of toilet paper. This is post, uh, this is post CV19, you know what it is over there, but they still have the emergency roll of toilet paper. That is the level of quality we expect from the win, as well as all of these 
lovely forms of art here. Fairly spacious room, all things considered. And then when we get down below, you have your Revlon hair dryer here. This is uh, this thing's pretty heavy duty over here. F set phasers to stun. There you go. And of course the foot towels too. You have to have the foot and face towels. Those are absolutely necessary. And we have other washcloths and hand towels on the other side over here. I'd probably say the most bizarre thing in the room is definitely the scale here because I cannot think of a single person on the planet that wants a scale and wants to have a look at the scale while they're on holiday. Absolutely not. No way. So you just leave that under there. We don't touch that. What we do touch is the stool here so you can go ahead and do your makeup, do your hair, whatever, in the morning. So that's a good thing. We leave in the bathroom. We get to go into the living quarters here. So now... We have the closet. Full size walk in, like it was pre COVID. All right, and you have your safe over here. So, built in wall safe goes over here, and this is indeed laptop size too. So, if you need to stir your laptop, I think 15.6 inches is your ideal size there. Anything smaller than that obviously will fit, anything larger might be an issue. And then you have your iron over here so you can get your clothes all pressed and clean right before you go out to the strip. Same deal with the ironing board if you do know how to use those things, of course, because I do know some people that don't. And then up top, of course, you have plenty of space for storage. And then a couple places to hang up sweaters and the like. Or in my case, I like to hang up a sport jacket so I can feel a little more at home not feel like I'm working when I'm on holiday. So, here we are. Much better. So that is our walk-in closet. Now if we immediately 360 around, you're gonna see the full-size mirror. This thing is ginormous. It's, what is it, like seven feet? Something absurd like that? I look, look, look at this mirror, you get to check yourself, as my boy TVP would say, make sure you're fresh before you hit the strip. Uh, this is not what I'm wearing to the strip though, this is just kind of kicking around clothes, we're not doing that on the strip end. Alright, so then that also brings us over to the artwork on the walls, and we get to explore the main room here. You start with your alarm clocks over here, and the television remote, those are the basics. Then you have your bed over on this side. These are big plush beds. These are actually super comfortable. They're kind of firm, admittedly, but I do prefer a firm mattress, so that's good. And then you have your other nightstand on this side too, in case you're interested. All the lights are controlled, even the uh, end lights are controlled by the main control panel, so that's nice. More modern art on this wall over here. And of course, you're going to have your big screen TV, it's going to have your name all over it. Okay, so here's some interesting new information here. So we got our usual water cups and ice cups and all that good stuff. And then we also have the mini bar comes to us here. Now if you check this out over here, you've got your, uh, your QR code, you scan that on your phone. And then you can do the in-room dining here, so that's actually pretty nice. Now if we look down, we can see that there are additional drawers here for storage, here in the dry bar. And then on this side, it actually opens to reveal the mini fridge. Now, oh, actually it seems to be locked right now. I can't actually get into the mini bar. So I'm assuming they've actually emptied this and there's nothing in the mini bar right now, which I think is great. I don't usually use the mini bar anyway and then more storage for cups and mixers and all that. Coming back to the living area here, you have a couple lamps on this side. So you have a lamp for reading light over here, and then you have the couch with the ottoman. I feel like this is a different room than I had last time. I think it is because I didn't have a couch last time, I don't think. 
No, I think she might have actually upgraded me. I think that she upgraded me and she put me on a higher floor. So that's pretty cool. Then you have your desk on this other side over here. Of course, you have Amazon Alexa. And she wakes right up. That is so cool. All right, and then you also have a mirror over here. They just love mirrors in this place. It's a great place. And then a personalized letter from Mr. Long, the vice president of hotel operations, so from the ops department. I have a whole personalized letter for you here. I will go ahead and take a picture of that and I'll put it up on the screen. But most importantly, I'd say the big thing is the welcome back kit over here. So if you're interested in a couple things hanging out here at the Wynn, it's good stuff. And then check this out. They've got these little sanitizer wipes that come. So you get these little alcohol wipes here, 75% alcohol. And then they also explain the symptoms of COVID. So fevers, shortness of breath, cough, sore throat, new loss of taste to smell, chills, headache, muscle pain, that sort of thing. And then, of course, you have the masks, too. So it looks like proper surgical masks. I'm a little disappointed that they didn't have uh, Win logos on them there. Now, the MGM mask has an MGM logo on it. I was wishing that the Win mask did, too, but I guess not. And then you have the disinfectant gel as well. So you got a good, uh, what is I think it's 75% and then 5% alcohol over here. So good hand sanitizer. And yeah, having another look over here. This is actually, oh, so I did get upgraded. I got upgraded to a panoramic view here. So it's got the ceiling to floor windows and then um, you can barely see it. You can barely see it, but it actually does face the city properly. So you actually do get a good view of the strip. There's the high roller over there. You also have the uh, Palazzo right across from us, Treasure Island. And then uh, Mirage, where we're gonna go to uh, harass pennies for Vegas, actually later on on this trip. You'll probably already see the live stream for that by the time that we've done this video. So, And then I think you'll probably see the live stream for the high roller by the time we've done this video too, from Rocktober weekend, so this would be great. But yes, Minish and Sharks, this is it. This is our spot for the night. I'm gonna go ahead and hang out here, take a little break, gonna get fresh, gonna get cleaned up, and then I'm gonna go ahead and catch up with my friends and see how we're holding up there. So until next time, this is Ace of Vegas, signing out and wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning. Onto the bed. Three, two, one, jump! Woohoo! Okay, before I go, this is the best part of the room. Watch this. Alexa! Turn off the lights. Okay. Thank you, Alexa. All right then, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's tour and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Next time we meet, I'll give you an inside look at our party at Rocktober. But until next time, this is Ace of Vegas signing out. I'm wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva!